In previous videos, you could see us doing a bunch of different things here on Project M. Many things are made this year, but now season 2 is coming to an end. We need to wrap up and prepare for the winter. Many rainy days are coming, so we need to get ready for that. We're going to fix the plastic roof, repair the door in the waterfall so we can store water, and clean a new well that we recently found. Welcome to a new Project Camp update. Hey, so winter is coming and we need to prepare ourselves a little bit for that because uh, many people would leave, only a few people would stay here to really reflect and plan the next year. Um, so we need to prepare ourselves a little bit for all the rain that is coming. And a few things we want to do is one, to still uh, get the wood chipper and chop down a lot of uh, trees we chopped down before to make sure we can spread them on the ground so they can absorb all the moist. We want to re-oil our structures from wood that we made last year to give them an extra protective layer. Uh, we're going to level a new area where we're going to put a container for storage, which is going to be very useful to keep everything dry. And we need to break down the tents where the people were sleeping because they're not going to be used the whole winter. So all of these small things uh, are ongoing or already done actually, but we have a few bigger things to do. And one of them is the plastic roof, which uh, was still leaking, needed a fix. Aiden wanted to do it, but he got busy working on the ruin. And also the pressure was off because yeah, it was sunny, so no water coming. But now with a lot of rain in the air coming, we really need to fix it. So Aiden is going to show you uh, what we're going to do next with that. So we have this roof made with recycled plastic sheets by a precious plastic wash piece as a test. But we found out that the design maybe is not the best. The plastic sheets warp and shrink because of the heat. So we try some solutions to avoid leaks, like overlapping the sheets and screwing them to the wooden frame. Due to the warping, the screws broke. Putting some butyl and windshield glue on top. It's not really attaching. And duct tape. Good. So far nothing worked yet, but we still need a solution for this winter. So we're gonna try something else, this facade type. Meant to be outside, UV protected, waterproof. Let's hope it will resist longer. Now we're gonna make some rain, test if it still leaks. What are we doing? But making the... Making... <laughs> testing what? some rain, but there's still a hole in here. There we go, look at this. Wow. How does it work? It's not working. We're up on the uh, sketchy roof. Hey, no, no, no. We are up on the recycled plastic roof next to the kitchen here. Still some leaks. So now we're going to try and put it between this solar panel and the roof because we think that it could be coming under like this. Now we're going to do a second test and let's see if it works. No leak so far, there's some water, but here seems okay. Not really leaking, it's good. It doesn't trust. Alright, so meanwhile we're waiting for the rain to come. Uh, we heard the neighbor saying there's actually another well on the land. So not the one we use for our drinking water, but another much older one. And we've been trying to find it together with them, but we, we could never really find it. But only recently we saw a few glimpses of it, of what we think is a well. So we're going to go down there now because uh, Julie's going to clean it up to see what we're going to find. It's going to be down here.
it has been already since a year that we have been clearing up this path, the one that I'm standing at now. But just recently we found the well on the other side. Let me show you. Hey, over here! This is the well. Uh, quite overgrown, a lot of bushes, a lot of mimosa. There is not much water, it's just mud on the bottom floor. But we're gonna try to dig a little bit to see if we can reach the water table. This well is actually made out of granite. It might mean that it's way older. The one we have in use at the moment is made out of bricks. Maybe let me show you where we actually are. We are next to the path, close to the new ruin. We are on the side of the field where the yoga deck is under the cork tree. We are quite close to that. And this is where the well is. It was uh, our neighbor Antonio that told us that there was a well in this area. But as you might have seen, it's very difficult to access. This is the reason why we've never seen it. We might then also start with the clearings towards the field to start up clearing this area. But I will not be able to do this by myself, so I'm gonna ask some extra hands. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. Look, 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 look. We found the well. Yeah. No. access to the well now. There are still a few big dead trees around and trees hanging over. So we're gonna start now with cutting them down and open it up a little bit more. We have a super big ladder. Yeah, it feels really sun. Super fluffy, no? If you could also, yeah. Yeah. yeah like it's it's kind of wet down there. This is the first time in the bottom of the well. 
and there are lots of dead twigs and branches, but it's also very spongy, moist soil. Oh, pork. I'm coming up. Keep going. I'm out of bucket space. Oh, right. So I've been digging down for a little bit and we're starting to find water. At least you, you look like you want to get in here. Yeah, I want to do something. Okay. All right, so the well is now cleaned up. We still have this guy here. We didn't know what to do with it, but it looks kind of cool. So yeah, let's see. We also added some protection around it to make sure we don't walk in at night when someone is sleepwalking. Uh, so now it's basically waiting for the rain to come. So it raises the water table and then uh, there should be water in the well. Let's see. But before the rain comes, we have one last thing to do. And you guys commented a lot about this. Uh, it was when we cleaned up the waterfall, there was this metal gate that was completely stuck. It's frustrating because uh, we tried a lot of instruments, a lot of, I don't know. But you guys gave some good comments on how to uh, make it unstuck. So we're going to give that a try and see if we can move the thing because then we can close it for winter and gather all the rainwater that comes in. So time to go to the waterfall. All right, so here we are at the metal door, still very stuck. Uh, time did pass by, as you can see behind me, the plants are growing. But now we want to make sure we unstuck it because, uh, is that a word? Unstuck it? We want to make sure we can move it around because when the rain starts to come, we want to close it so the water here fills up and we have a lagoon. We got a few good comments from you guys from the last video with some future potential solutions. We're going to start with the most promising one because if that one works, well, it would save us a lot of extra work. So the one with the most potential of fixing this problem is... Yeah, what else? Ketchup. You know, YouTube comments, it's not that I don't trust you, but sometimes I doubt whether all the things you say are really true. So ketchup didn't really work out. Next candidate, cola. All right, so the cola is in. Now we let it soak for a few hours and give it a good smack. Let's see if it comes out. So no success with Coke. Next one. Vinegar. We're also gonna put this one in and let it soak for a while. So putting on the ketchup wasn't very satisfying because it's too thick. But the Coke and the vinegar really goes all the way into the cracks. So you really feel like it's going in there. But I'm not sure if it's enough. So while we are waiting for the vinegar to soak in, let me show you something interesting. Actually one of the reasons why we tried to open up the gate. So currently it's end of the summer and the water stream, uh, as you can see it here, it's not very big. Uh, the water used to flow much bigger. It would hit the rock there, way more sounds as well. But that was in winter and springtime. Now it's at the end of summer, so it was very hot, very dry. So almost no water flowing anymore. And this is also the water that goes down to our creek. But something interesting is happening there. Let me show you. So the water from the waterfall is flowing here, uh, gradually down there, which is actually our creek. So it starts here and then it goes all the way to the bottom of the land. And as you can see, the water is just flowing. Not much, but it's flowing. If we continue following the creek, which is right there, you can't really see the creek anymore because there are way too many bushes and spikes. So in order to see the creek again, we have to walk a little bit more until the area we cleaned up last year. Wait, let me actually show this with the drone so it's a bit easier for you to understand where we are. 
So here we have the waterfall where you see the water flowing. Now we just walk this pathway, we're halfway in. As you can see, it's very bushy and we can't really see the creek. But if we continue to follow the line right there, uh, we cleaned that up last year, as you can see in the update videos with our moms. So we can go there now to really see the creek again. So here I am now in the creek. Might be hard to see, but there used to be water flowing here. Um, but now it hasn't been flowing for a while, so plants started growing back. And this actually used to be a stream that goes all year around. But this year, because it was so dry, it just dried up and uh, yeah, no more water. And it's kind of strange seeing the water still flow there from the waterfall, even within the little creek. And then somewhere between there and here, the water just stops and it goes into the soil. Imagine if you're a fish and you go downstream and suddenly, I don't know, it just stops. It's kind of weird thinking about it. But anyway, that's one of the reasons why we want to fix that gate up there. So we can uh, close it down and fill up the lagoon there with water in winter times when a lot of rain comes. And then we have a bit of a reserve and backup in case it's going to be very dry in summer times. So here we are after a day of soaking vinegar. Let's see if it pops out. Still stuck, didn't move. So we're gonna try the next thing, which actually suggested maybe most by everyone, is W40, like a lubricant. We already tried this before, but it didn't work. But maybe now after the vinegar and the coke and stuff, uh, changes. So yeah, that didn't really work either. So next suggestion. Hello, George. So we tried a bunch of things now, uh, all didn't really work. I actually had high hopes for uh, the heating up, that it would crack. Uh, so not many options left. And up until now we've been hammering with this one. So next we're gonna try this guy, bigger hammer. Didn't really want to use it yet because it would also warp the metal a bit more and damage the concrete around it. But running out of options here. Been hammering for quite a bit now, as you can see, the whole sheet starts to deform. Uh, so yeah, this thing takes a different shape, but absolutely no movement in the sheet itself. It's impressive. Running out of options, so kind of get a bit more dressed. Right, so the door is finally out. It was mainly rusty here at the bottom actually, pretty stuck still. But now we have this broken door, but I figured maybe we just clean it up and weld it back together so we can slide it in. So as we have the grinder here, I'm gonna clean up these edges and I'm gonna bring this to the workspace and then uh, fix it up, hopefully.
Yeah. Alright, so here we are at the waterfall. We have our yellow items painted and cleaned up, ready to go in. Some bolts and nuts, some screws, wrenches, hammers to get it in because uh, we added some paint which made it a bit thicker and it warped during the welding. So I hope it's gonna still fit in there. So yeah, let's see. You're not left-handed, but... Oi! Feels so good to see it going up and down. Let me do it once again. Ah, yeah. Okay, now we have our water gate ready. We only need to wait for the rain to come and fill up the lagoon. Quite excited to see this happen. So it's now a few weeks later, rain is coming as you might see, so now it's time to close the gate and hopefully fill up this lagoon. No idea how this is gonna go, maybe the whole wall is gonna collapse because it didn't have water for many years. No idea, let's see. Now we just wait. So the lagoon is now filling up, but we have a few unexpected leaks. Let me show you. So the door itself uh, is releasing some water. There was a small gap underneath, but I guess combined with a lot of pressure on that side makes uh, quite a bit come out. And it's leaking here on the edges as well as the water goes up. I think still more water is coming in than out, so that's good. But yeah, some losses. So here we have the wall and the granite rock, and this leak comes from underneath the rock. So uh, we just on the other side, but it's really hard to see where it's actually leaking. So this is going to be a more difficult one to fix. And here the water is leaking through the cracks of the wall. And as you can see, it's also quite a substantial amount. But this is leaking into the irrigation pipes or the funnels that you might have seen when we cleaned the waterfall. Which is quite cool, so this would eventually distribute itself on the land. So kind of curious actually to see where this is flowing to. But overall uh, more water is flowing in than going out. So the lagoon is still filling up. We're now about halfway. 
so you just have to wait a little bit longer. Hopefully nothing collapses along the way and then uh, yeah, transform a bit this landscape. All right, so after some days the lagoon is overflowing. Ah, oh, look at that, it's impressive. I'm a bit worried about the walls collapsing, the neighbors even warned us for that, but it looks awesome. Like an infinity pool, but better. All natural, running on the creek. So now we have a water reservoir that we can control to use to irrigate the fields in the dry months, or just chill if it gets too hot in summer, probably mostly used for that. So far, very satisfied, uh, and I guess we still need to see how the well actually is doing with all this rain. So let's get back to Julie. Okay, it has been a couple of days ago since we have been clearing up the well. And there has been a lot of rain. We're gonna check it out, how it looks. Also an easy way. This shows how deep the water is. There is still a dirt layer underneath, but feels like a good start. Well, quite some centimeters. As you might have seen, the well is quite cleared up now. We have space to walk around it, thanks to Antonio. Great tip. We know where it is now. But this means it's quite far from base camp. At the moment we don't really know what it's going to be used for, but we keep an eye on it during the winter and see what the water level does. Ciao! Wait, we decided to go a bit further on the water gate, check it out. So here we are at the bonus round, the lake is all filled up. But we kind of want to see what happens when we quickly open up this thing, just for the sake of trying. So Adrian and me are going to do a speed turning. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It was a ride. Maybe it's been a bit more. Huh? Yeah, but there it's flooding the whole land. Should we stop or is it rough? I don't know if we should continue because it floods everything. Go for it, she's gone. It's the other one, man. Fuck. Oh, fuck. You just have to find it. Here would be the first dam, I guess. Oh, 
Hey. Hey. One, but not the other one. It was there in the middle. Uh, here. Connected to a stick. Yeah, there. Yeah, so one GoPro flashed away. So now it's somewhere there, but there are a lot of brumbles. But I think we have to walk the creek to find it. All right, so that was it for this video. Next week, we're gonna uh, finish up the ruin for this year. It's the last video of the season, should be exciting. If you want to see that, make sure to support us on Patreon so you can uh, see it one week ahead without advertisement or subscribe and then you just see it next week here, same channel, same time. Supporting on Patreon also helps a lot because I think we need to get a new GoPro. Or if you have a GoPro 7 laying around, let us know. Uh, we would be very happy with it if you don't use it anymore. Thanks for watching, see you next week.